Hello, my name is Matthew Chan. Um, we are preparing another video for the CobraCollectionStamp.com website. And I'm here with my friends at Kenneth Parker Duck and Key of the rental department. We have Lisa Mize here, and we've got Carrie Ryan. And I just want to just publicly thank you guys for taking the time. I know this is very difficult. I've been here before, and I know you guys run a very, very good, busy office, and you have a lot of responsibility. And and the thing about it is you guys, I've been kind of put in the center of this thing with the website and everything, and people give me credit, but really you guys have been at the forefront of this. And I think that people need to hear this. This is why I've been so passionate about this video. You know, because the thing about it is, is my opinion is, they do a TV shot, and I'm very grateful to WTVM. Right. I'm very grateful to WTVM and ZM alone, but the fact of the matter is that they just can't focus all their time on one story. And for them, they've got the whole city to cover. But for us, it's a little bit more personal. Am I right? Yeah, yeah it's a bigger story than 30 seconds. I mean, this is, this is money that this, this co company has taken from, from our homeowners. It's not even our money. That's right. what's so personal for us, is that we were entrusted by our homeowners to um, manage their property, and, it, and if we have to go through the lengths of the collection process, hire a reputable collections company and recoup some of that lost money. Right. And you know they've done it. We just haven't gotten the money. She, right. you know, the money is is gone. It's disappeared. Um, and you've you know uncovered where some of this money has gone, and it's totally unfair. Yeah. And um, you know, we were given, I guess, 18 months ago, excuses after excuses, you know, bad personnel, you know, just bad times. And right. come to find out, I mean, she's, <clears throat> that we know of, she has collected over 17000 And this was, this was a report a year ago. Yes. Right. And um, who knows what else has been collected. And, and since your um, um, investigation has started, I've had a couple of tenants call, or tenants' parents that are afraid to get their child involved, where they have actually gone into their checking accounts, unbeknownst to them, and have wiped them clean. That's <coughs> criminal. Yeah. And that's just criminal. And um, so we, we, we need this company stopped, and we need our homeowners and whoever else, you know, the, the medical community that has suffered, the, you know, the um, legal community that has suffered, the real estate mm -hmm. community, they need to be reimbursed. So were you shocked about the, what I told everybody about the $6 million? I was or? stunned. Oh my gosh. I, mean, <laughs> I was absolutely stunned. Because, so was I. You know, I, it was crazy. I, I, had, I had no comprehension, of course, as to how big this has gotten. And, um, yeah, I mean, well, I, I thought our amount was high. Well, well to be fair, let me set the record straight. The $6 million is really the sub total submitted account submitted uh, all the bad debt. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that bad debt, you know, sure. you actually recover a very small portion. So even giving Janice and Cobra the benefit of the doubt, a 20% or 25%, six million is still a big number. Gee, and yes. even if you split it in half, she keeps half and we keep half, it's still a huge number. It is. So my numbers was like around 200 to 300,000. Mm -hmm. That's like being taken away from all of us. On that list, it was 327 people. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. So you were one of many. And I'm not belittling you guys, but there were bigger no. people. And they don't have, sure. they're not here on camera. Mm -hmm. And sure. I'm just appreciative of you guys. Well. Carrie, well, what are your thoughts on all of this? I mean, how did you get dragged into this? Well, I felt like, um, well, I was the one that saw the commercial on Business Break. Lisa and I had a conversation oh, about me right. being a, a local collection company so that we would have a great contact here in town. And I came into Lisa and said, I saw something on Business Break this morning. Go in and call this place called Cobra. I gave her the phone number. She called Janice Lynn and she was want an appointment, just lickety split, was in her office, gave a great spiel of how, you know, she collected, what how she would follow through, how our statements would look. Um, it was really all, good, didn't it? It was, was, it was <laughs> great. Awesome. Two days later, we had our first check. Yes. Yeah. We were like, oh, was, gosh, gosh, this is the best yeah. thing that's ever happened to us. And then and the then statements it, started coming you know, a longer period of time, I'd have to call and ask for them. Mm -hmm. And I have to call and ask, when am I getting the next check? Uh, and yeah. then I would call and say, your numbers are not right. 
and then it became a we I, I couldn't get a, a positive answer several times I spoke with her husband while she was out sick um, and so, so it was they were they were passing me around to different people and I could never get the same answer. Would it be fair to say that you guys were very very patient? And oh tried my to give gosh. Every benefit of the doubt. We Is that fair to say? were so patient. We bent over backwards because there again. We were going to take the bullet for our homeowners. That's what we do. This is why we are in business because, and, and that's why we hired her was so that we could recoup some of those losses for our homeowners. Sure. We were going to do whatever we could. And even up until about probably five or six months ago, we were still having, trying to be nice, right. trying to, you know, have a positive you. dialogue. I hear you. And, and finally, I lost my patience. and. Carrie and I kind of did a good cop, bad cop routine, <laughs> and you know, I told her that I basically viewed this as theft if I didn't start getting my money. And you know, she told me she would tie me up in court, and then that's when oh, I, yeah. that's when I threw that's in the gauntlet and said, right. you know what, she's a professional at this. She knows the ropes. I'm not dealing with this anymore. So. Now, Lisa, um, I just want to. You clearly are very passionate about this, and uh, and I think that one of the things I want to talk about is people don't understand why we're being so loud spoken because we're in Columbus. I'm not from Columbus, and to me, it strikes me people are very sleepy. People don't like trouble, mm -hmm. and I, and I can't say I blame them, but there comes a point mm -hmm. that as a business or as a person, is how far you get stepped on, right? Oh. I mean, at what point do you get you have to you know yeah. is enough is enough. Clearly, you hit your point. Uh, we and I hit my point. Yeah, sure. We have, it's other people's money that we manage, that we entrusted to her. That's to why collect. we're passionate. Yeah, yeah if you have a legal collection, yeah. yeah, you've got your office staff that you've got to run and, and you've got to pay your bills. But this is some, this is homeowner A, B, C, D, and E's money. Yeah. You know, this is different from some of these other collections. We're handling an investment piece of property for sure. somebody and we're trying to do it to the best of our ability so yes that's why I'm passionate I want that as homeowners sure and some of those homeowners the reason that it turned into a collection on a tenant is the tenant might have destroyed a home mm -hmm. and the homeowner had to go back and invest their more monies into their home and they're hoping to recoup some of the money that they had to put into the house in the first place mm -hmm. to get it back so that you know they put out of pocket twice for this yeah well you know some of our peers uh, in, in a similar type of business you know they obviously feel a little bit differently and they're a little bit more embarrassed but I'm, I, I was telling them I was like if you're gonna be embarrassed and you goofed you're in darn good company yeah, well, <laughs> I mean I mean yeah. there, are, there are people bigger than us exactly. that got snuckered yeah. in you know yeah, sure and if we, didn't, yeah. if we didn't speak up I mean she would have just kept all this money and just you know happy happy you know, and I just couldn't take it anymore. No, I just couldn't take it. No. We patronized a business that did us bad. Yes.